Now let's start with creating a presentation within minutes. So you have clicked on to the presentation option. Once you do it, you need to understand these things which are shown at the left of your screen. First is templates. Once you click it, then you can search here also for different templates. Once you click it, you will get all the kinds of templates. Suppose we want to cre uh, create an educational presentation and we choose this presentation out of all the templates. So these are all pages which are available for the templates uh, inside this template. What you do is that you need to choose whatever pages you want in your presentation. Right now, your presentation is a blank presentation which is shown in this white box where you can see my cursor. Whatever page you want, you click on that page and click on this plus button. That page will be loaded here and it will now be part of your slide. So let us see. I want this page as my first page. I'm just trying to recreate this presentation in the same way as I had done in my very first video. Then second slide which I want here is I want this slide. After that, I have to first click just look at the steps which I am following. I am clicking on this first page, add page. And then I am finding which presentation style suits me. And I click on this. Last, I want to add this thank you page. So now my presentation has got these four pages. You can see this in the grid view also like this. Now moving on to the single slide view. Let's make the changes so that our presentation looks the way we had seen it in our previous video. One thing I want to tell you, you can even change the uh, way the uh, pages are being shown in the presentation. Like you can simply click on this three and drag it here so that now page number two becomes three and three becomes two. Moving on to the very first slide. Here what you see is that here you have class syllabus. You just click on this, click the delete button and write here Canva. Again, select this text. Move on to this palette where you can change the font. Suppose we want the font something like this. You can change the size of the font also. You can increase or decrease as per your choice. You can select it again and change the color. Say we want it to be with red color. Then here you have written the name of the school. So let us write here. Instead of this, let us write here. Oh, I have actually deleted that. Uh, label here so I need to do undo. You can see this button as you have it in word. So you will simply click it and you will get the text back here. You want to change the text so you have to select the text and then press the delete button here and write here Swami Shraddhanand College, comma, University of Delhi. Now you can play around with this text. How? Again, by increasing its size and by changing its color and making it italic and bold. Again, other things which you can do is that you can put in some effects to it. Like you can put this glitch effect and now your SSNC college would look like this. Let me do it again. Effects may 
you're choosing this glitch or you can choose this neon color also now here you have written here maybe this presentation is paid by your teacher dr meera sharma so you write here dr meera sharma again what all you can do with this text apart from changing its size and orientation what you can do is that you can rotate the text also so you simply need to rotate it like this you can rotate it upside down or you can slightly tilt it whatever way you wish to write it right now coming back to if you see that it is a monotonous one so let's give it more artistic look by changing its colors you click on these leaves and you move on to this palette which is showing you brown color why it is showing you brown because the leaves which you have selected are in brown color so you will click on this and you can change the color say suppose you want the color to be like this likewise if you see this image here two colors are being displayed one is the light brown which is for this entire image and another is the dark brown which is for this single line here so if you choose this dark color and you make it to purple then the line becomes purple color if you choose this light brown and you change it to say suppose green then it becomes green in color similarly here you can choose them to be of red color and again you don't want this designing here so you will simply select it and use the delete button from your keyboard you if you want this kind of leaf pattern to be replicated you will copy it and you will again by right clicking you will paste it it will be pasted on the same portion so you drag and drop it and now you want to rotate it so you can rotate it and you can get a similar design at both the points of your page so you can easily put on these things now let's on move to the next so this is how you have changed the existing canva template as per your own requirement so now let's move on to the last slide quickly this is the thank you slide again you can move move away with the colors here i want to tell you one more thing before in the previous uh, slide we have only worked with the uh, text uh, font and uh, font type and size and color and then pattern to be replicated now i am going to tell you something about which is can be done by using one of these options let us first move to the text option that is the third option here in the text option you can use any of these styles which are available suppose instead of thank you writing like this you can choose this option so here yeah here you have got thank you like this you can change the orientation color as you have done in the previous slide you first you need to choose this and delete it choose this and delete it now just look at this thank you and click it change the color see suppose like this so the same thing you have applied but you have used it with different color again thank you and if i want to write my name after that mm, so i may use some other op uh, option of the text available 
Just remember that if the Pro version is available, then that will not be available for you to use it freely. But there are a large number of options which you can use here. Suppose I want to write here my name. So I'll write here. So I'll write here. Okay. So what does this show us? That we cannot change what is written here. Only thing is we can use a style which is being given to us in these text. If you want to write your own text then you can simply add a text box and add your own text here. Now next what I want to tell you is elements. These are the elements which are available and you can use these elements in your slides. Suppose I want here something like this. A leaf. So a leaf will be inserted here. If I want some photograph to be inserted then that can also be done here quickly. Then you can even work with charts. Suppose you want to have this chart here. If you want to use this chart then here you will get the time table uh, series like this and you can uh, move on with the uh, numbers and then change it accordingly. So this is what I wanted to tell you about presentations. Now once the presentation, let us just move with this graph. Once this presentation is complete, we have to download it in the form of standard. And then this is the way it is being presented to 